Okay, my friends, we are going to be making some snow in our landscapes. You're going to be using a paintbrush, but guess what? We're going to use the bottom of the paintbrush to make our snow instead of the paint bristles. So I'm going to grab it by my grouper and I'm dipping the end of the handle in the paint. The only thing you want to be careful of is if you're getting paint on your handle, we don't want to pick the handle up when we're done with it. So I'm dipping it just in the paint and I'm going to find a spot. I'm going to start in the background and the background is the area behind my trees and I'm just going to use it like it's a stamp and I'm going to stamp it down to make a dot. Now the thing with this is every time I do a stamp, after I've done the stamp, I need to put it back in the paint, stamp again. So it's kind of like a pattern. Paint, stamp. Paint, stamp. Paint, stamp. Okay, so now that I have the background done, I'm going to now work on the foreground. And this is the area in front of the, our trees. So when you're thinking about your snow, you not only want to have snow in the background, but there's going to be snow falling in front of the trees. Just like if you were standing in the snow, it would fall behind and in front of you. So now I'm going to do just a little bit of snow in the foreground in front of the trees by dipping some of the paint on the trees. Okay, those are looking great, my friends. I'm going to set my paintbrush now on my placemat. I'm making sure that I spread the snowflakes out even, evenly and then the picture is balanced. So if you have too many snowflakes on one side of the paper, we need to balance it by adding more snowflakes on the other side. But mine's looking pretty good. Snowflakes are balanced. I have snowflakes in the background and in the foreground.